Hata mimi niko poa. Sina kama neno. Okay. So. Jana niliwacha na task. Yeah. Nika sema in case uko na swali uulize under that very video na kama ukuona hiyo video then you can just have a review. Yeah. Ni video ya jana tu. Mhm. Uh-huh. So kuna wale ambao walikuja inbox hawa kuulizia hapo mm-hmm. na kuna wale wengine ambao wameulizia hapo so leo nitazungumzia about wale ambao wana fear to engage mm-hmm. in a relationship or other marriage mm-hmm. na pia nitazungumza kuhusu okay itakaba fear the fear the part of introduction to parents in the circumstances okay zenye zina zinakufanya una either unaogopa mm-hmm. kujipata into a relationship mm-hmm. kama wale walikuwa wananiambia jana kuwa yeye yeah, akisikia anything to do mm-hmm. marriage anashtuka <laughs> so mm-hmm. <coughs> leo nitazungumzia kuhusu that fear okay why is it that most people wana fear ku kuji engage into marriage ama ku kuji engage into a relationship what do you, what do you think mimi na na most what we know we call it heart broken mm. from the previous relationship when on a like in whichever way mm. i yes you work you mm. that is why people fear to engage Uh, that is what i think you know in affect sana watu wengi they fear to engage because of that na maybe um, another thing ni what when you clear relationship ni kitu expensive you know mm. of course relationship kama kuna mali inaenda inahitaji do so kama mna end up into marriage lazima kuna kitu kitahusika hapo hata si kama si lazima harusi but at least kitu kama mahari itakuwa engaged so no so what to go praise of you to yeah and also another thing maybe you know that you need surrounding what when you call some one to surround pia wao wanaweza affect status yako ya nini nini na marriage ama na relationship naweza kuwa na marafiki ndo wameanda go pay na ma marriage zao has work <coughs> so naona it's like even ndo inakuaga that is my opinion I may think about the engage kwa marriage. Hmm. What was your biggest fear? Like me? Mhm. Ah, kitu kwa sababu kitu mkuu na ofia sana. Any man who has any responsibility to any. Una yusha zoea tu kukapiki ya kupeke yako. Sasa uwe tough. But now okay, that is what I can say before. Is one of the people na ogopaga alafu pia una feel kama feel do mia vitu zako mingi zitakuwa zimekatika. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now that we are approaching mm-hmm. one year mm-hmm. like for days to our first anniversary. Mhm. Maybe unaweza sema nini kuhusu hiyo fear ulikuwa nayo? Ah, sasa hii nishazoe. Responsibility. Asin umezoea responsibility, responsibility ama umejua kuzitackle ama yeah, yani nishazoea responsibility mm. ni yeah, ya standing na zamani all those cynical ni kwa maybe some i don't know wewe unajua ni unajua but as for me <coughs> i feel nime nimezoea sasa mm. si kama kitambo hebu ambia mtu mwenye anaogopea responsibilities pale maybe wakati mkuu anaogopa about responsibility what happened mpaka ikakulazimu ku, kusonga kabisa ukaamua ah acha niende kiliwalo na li na leo is it that ulipata kazi ya maana ukapata uko na pesa ukasema sasa nimetosha ku join my responsibility is not all about money me as for me responsibility ni how you handle things una mm-hmm. hata kama uko peke yako there is that responsibility of you handling uh, yourself so the same way you can handle but the same way you to handle mkiwa mm-hmm. wawili ama mkiongezeka pia na mtoto you see mm-hmm. so if it's going extra mile of course and also kila mtu ukuja na baraka yake like sasa 
wakati fiko tunasema uh, pata mtu apata kitu chema kuna ile wema wako unakujaga na this that spirit of you yenye haikuaga kwangu na na so na we come with it inakuwa complete mm-hmm. ndio mimi nasema so responsibility hazikui tackle sana na it uko na pesa job ya pesa na nini kuna watu wako slums ghetto na wanaishi life poor na marriage poor na relationship poor mm-hmm. na kuna watu wako estate wanadunga na visu kwa news nini nini wanaoana so money is not the determinant here yeah. yeah. mm. a bit that that's the best reason why you should you should work hard and be careful while engaging yourself into marriage or other relationship mm-hmm. so that you find yourself in a right relationship mm-hmm. You can go here for by my friend responsibility it akwa responsibility kweli. Mm. You once you you get the right person mm. I'm I'm very sure that mtakuwa in the right route okay. ya kuhandle handle each and every issue yenye ulikuwa unaiona ikiwa ngumu. Mm-hmm. Okay the other thing naweza sema ni most people wanaogopa ni maybe unaweza pata background Leona vile tu my husband has just said maybe parents umwangalia life yenye parents wako ameishi and you're like ah mistake you share your maisha maybe love you should at always you come home why so my quest quest si miangu mm. kuna words na kwa gani nimeset hapa chini mm. ah, okay. mona mona you can <laughs> <laughs> simply because we are approaching our anniversary. Also oh, yeah. make a big No, kuna kugana zingine but this is a wedding photo. Love. This is a wedding photo. Can you tell me the name of your birthday you approach? Ana ni ana ni copy. So ebu ebu asome what I just wrote. The blood <coughs> of my biological parents has nothing to do with what God has in store for me. So that that tells you that God does something in store for you. No, no. The blood of your biological parents has nothing to do what to do with what God has in store for you. Mm-hmm. That means kila mwenye anazaliwa kwa hii dunia ametengenezewa njia yake na ruti yake yeye mwenyewe. Unaona? Kile ambacho Mungu amekupangia wewe si kile ambacho mama kwa alipangia au baba kwa alipangia. Yeah. Wazazi wako are just Um, ni ni njia tu ambayo imetumika wewe kufika hapa duniani unaona as much as we respect them we honor them but it doesn't mean zile njia ambazo wao walipitia lazima pia sisi tupitie unaona mm-hmm. so choose your, your pathway that's why it's good time una make decision be very wise wakati una make decision so that you may make the right decision not not depending on what other people are going through no no mm. it's it's great ni kwa sababu ya background yako ama what your friend went through no no so usiogope kufanya kitu kwa sababu mtu fulani aliharibikiwa akijaribu kufanya hilo jambo mm. hapana mm. mpango wa Mungu kwako ni tofauti na mpango wa Mungu kwake na pia at times tunasema ni mpango wa Mungu kumbe God wants us to go right But sisi tunajipata tunakataa kwenda na ile wili ya Mungu tunaenda na na vile sisi mawazo yetu wenyewe yanatupeleka that's why unapata watu wengine wanajipata in the wrong directions claiming that ha Mungu hapo hujanifanyia kwa which si Mungu we always ask God tunamwambia God let your will be done but honestly when when God's will inaanza ku happen tunaanza tena ku complain oh why has this happened god's will is very painful but at the end of it kuna utamu no. so tusiogope kufanya jambo kwa sababu kupiga hatua fulani kwa sababu eti mtu mwingine alishindwa kwa sababu mamako ama babako alishindwa unaona the biggest the biggest point here is no god's will into your life pia wewe mwenyewe ukae chini kwanza ujifikirie na utambue ni nini unataka kwa maisha yako unaona ni nini ni nini kusudi la moyo wako unataka nini na je Mungu anasemaje kuhusu maisha yako maisha ya elimu yako maisha ya ndoa yako maisha ya kazi ya mikono yako Mungu anasemaje kuhusu hayo yote unaona so once ukishajua kusudi la maisha yako pande ya ndoa upande wa elimu upande wa kazi 
Usisikize mwanadamu amesema nini kwa sababu kwa sababu kile ambacho Mungu amepanga hakuna mtu anaweza ku kukizuia unaona so always no god's plan into your life so, yeah that is true mm-hmm. so leo nitawaacha kwa bado jiongelea kuna point mko umesema ya ya boat ku introduce you kwa wazazi mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay kuna mtu ni... kuna mtu ameuliza swali kwa the previous video akaniambia akaniuliza is it that ukiwa introduced kwa wazazi wa kijana that means yule kijana lazima atakuwa asini ako ako serious na wewe and i was like no introduction kwa kwa mzazi haimaanishi yule jamaa ako serious atakuwa no hiyo hiyo ni okay it's a it's a 50 50 kama ile kuintroduce ako serious na basi sasa ndo maana nakwambia pati ya mzazi wako si pati yako kwa sababu gani kuna wale wa, watoto tu wako so open na, na wazazi wao wako ile like ukipata msichana tu hebu nileteni muone kama anafaa pia mzazi mwenyewe wako pale vile anachangia kusema ah huyu huyu bwana mimi sijampenda unaona mm. and so huyu kijana hata kuja kukwambia eti mimi mzazi wangu hajakupenda unaona il atakaa tu kimya lakini atafute njia badala ya kuku ya kukutoka hivyo kimya kimya so introduction ya kwako wewe kwa mzazi haimaanishi eti tayari 100% tu wewe utakuwa married mm. sawa so take your time no rabina za support nasema ni kweli ah wewe kupeleka kwa wazazi ama samu hata wanasema gata kwa friends hata wewe mm-hmm. kuintroduce kwa marafiki za your partner mm-hmm. that one is not a, uh, an a unit for you to know that uh, it's an automatic relationship it end in marriage mm-hmm. you know some people are serious even without introducing you and some are serious yani ni win win situation so isifanye one because in my previous relationship sikufikishwa kwa wazazi mm-hmm. hii nimefikishwa then this one is fine or mm-hmm. it is not right Mm. Mm, yaani si zote kuna zile of course so hapa ni najaribu kuongelea show ile mtu mwenye hiyo ndo ameweka like aikishafika kwa wazazi ni automatic hapana huwa mm. inaisha hata kwa mpango za harusi mimi nishaona watu wanampanga harusi na ikakatikia njiani na so hata harusi si determina pia mm. we can maybe reach at that point harusi pia si determina but for now we were talking on uh, kufika kwa wazazi of course harusi inaweza kuwa determined na kwa uzito kwa sababu ya the expenses zenyewe na na kama na hiyo kuna watu wenyewe they want risk or kufika hapo mm-hmm. because of the expenses na pia unajua harusi wewe ina involve everyone si kama kwenda kwa wazazi mnaenda hata usiku na mrudi but uh, anything to do with wedding lazima ikuwe ifanywa mahali na after mahali pia kuna hizo uh, planning of course so it's something that is extended and wide for you to break it right yeah so mm-hmm. no mwingine aliniuliza kama how do you know that this person is serious about you seriousness pia we ni nategemea na mtu na dini na yeye watu wako tofauti yeah watu wako tofauti but unless you from the character <laughs> Ah uh, left wewe mwenyewe kuna vile unaweza angalia mtu ukajua if this person is serious with you ama ama is not serious with you unaona mm-hmm. kwa sababu let me let me say for example nimepatana na Emmanuel Emmanuel amenipeleka kwa wazazi wake sasa tumekuja tumekaa chini tume relax nothing else is going on mwaka wa kwanza mwaka wa pili mwaka wa tatu nothing is going on Oh hata kama wewe mwenyewe hivi tu unajijibu aje hapo. Any time you try to raise a By the way, we watch our fans video sometimes late. Saini size number sana. What? Aha. Nikwasema. We don't sleep guys. So, mm. Pia hapo kwa seriousness. Uh, Maybe usione pia the person you are dating ana ana kwa committed kwa vitu zingine ukaona like it's seriousness mambo kama sijui mara amekunulia hii ile amekupeleka hapa na pale that is not seriousness eh? it's just commitment 
Yaani seriousness ni kitu iko ndani. Wewe mwenyewe ndio unaweza soma mtu wako ukajua how serious he is. Na maybe for you to know maybe ni yule wakati una mention kuna vitu una mention hiji ni serious kama kwenda kwa wazazi. Ukiona una mention mambo na kwenda kwa wazazi ama it to be with relatives ana change mood ama whichever ama hiyo story inapoteleaga hapo then that's not serious one. Right? Yes. And the other thing is that once mko you have to see if mko in a common common goal mko na common goal ama kila mtu ako na plan zake. Jobes kama mi and mimi na Emmanuel tunapanga kitu lazima nione Emmanuel ana partici ana facilitate into that thing yenye tuna plan kufanya unaona mm. but sasa hebu imagine nimekuja nikaongea na Emmanuel eh sasa so tatu mimi nataka tufanye nini na i see it's 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 high time sasa nataka tu tununue maybe tu, tujenge mm. kitu kama hiyo then tukishaongea tu hivyo ni hivyo story imeisha tu hakuna hakuna siku nitaisikia mm. Emmanuel hapo kwanza nimemwambia hivyo hajanijibu ameniambia tu sawa aya hakuna siku nitaisikia tena muongelea hiyo story tena unaona maybe after like 2 to 3 day 2 th- to 3 weeks ni mwambie sasa ulisemaje kuhusu ile story and is like story gani hiyo sasa unaona hapo tayari mwenyewe unajiambia this person is not into mm. you unaona mm. decision making unaona this pe- this person mko na common goal maybe heading heading to marriage unaona as much as umesha nifanyie introduction kwa hiyo mambo tutakaa chini obvious tukae tujue unataka wewe yetu yani most of the time tutakuwa tunakaa tuna make decisions sote pamoja that is if you consider me to be your future wife unaona so i'll have to be there when you, you make new decisions ni nisikuje tu kusikia eh Emmanuel aliendaga sijui alishaamua ama Irene ameamua kala ya wedding ameamua venue ameamua kila kitu iman bila kumhusisha Emmanuel ama hata it's nothing to do with wedding issues. Mimi niko kivyangu vyangu na yeye yuko kivyake, unaona? So we have to be we have tunafaa kuwa na one common goal. None of us should be afraid to talk about the future, our future. Unaona? Mm. None of us. Mimi should share to him vile nafikiria future yetu nataka ikuwe na yeye pia mm. wakati tuko pamoja at least t- aniambie maybe tuko na hiyo conversation ya unataka future yetu ikuwe vipi unaona i have to be comfortable around him in that ni sikwetu wakati niko karibu na yeye na ogopa ogopa naona kama huyu jamaa anaaje naona huyu mtu ananisoma yani i have to be free with this person unaona ndio hili nimjue na ndio hili ni kuwe free kwake lazima pia ya kuwe open kwangu hizo ni signs na pia ni red flags za kukuonyesha if this person is Okay with me? Am I ready to be with me? Am I not? No. So, consistency. What can you say about consistency? Okay. Mhm. Maybe kitu naweza sema ni ile consistency kama kufanya jambo kwa kurudia rudia. Eh ama kwa kama kufuatilia eh commitment ya. So, kama tuko let me say tuko tuna plan marriage. Yule namjibu yule ambaye aliuliza swali pale. Tuna plan about marriage. Alafu sasa tukae sasa huu ni mwaka mzima 2023 na tunapanga kuoana next year. Lakini 2023 yote each and every time tunaongea hakuna time tutaongelea marriage mahali. Hiyo hiyo ni red flag tu tayari unaona. Jo hakuna vile tunaweza kaa tukiendelea kuongea hii other issues yet kuna this one common goal yenye tutawahi ongelea tukiwa pamoja. So naona. Yeah. So please. Then does Yeah, so far so good ni hivyo. Mm. If you want to know if he is the right person, consider consider such. Okay. His personalities what kind of peer we would use what kind of man do you want in your life? Is he kind? What do you share with you him? Mm-hmm. Alafu mostly ladies na men pia mostly to see to see judge kulingana na outside look even though what we say urembo ni sura. What did you say? Me? Mm. No, I saw you and I loved you. Why why did you love me? 
Yeah, I want to know why what did you nani? Yes, but what were our nani? What what was that normally what was that one common thing in your community? You know, of course in Kwanataka I got fearing mm. and a humble lady. Oh. Because what to wangu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, of course, humble and God fearing and smart. Thank and you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you know. I'm so humble. Since you pick a passport, you know, you have pick a passport. I need to a passport. I need to sign a passport. No, since you are now once a week, no pay or pull. No pay advice for what? So now that is what I was considering. You are now older. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm humble and bad and God fearing. <laughs> then God gave me a package now, you see. <laughs> me, 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 it's a change, of course, it's a change. It's a change to what you can. It's at least to what you can do. So guys, you know, okay, I'm going to say my God. Let me use God fearing. Na? Humble. Humble. Na? Natafta word ingine. Clean. Clean. What is it? Any else to share? God fearing and smart. Mm-hmm. Nataka hizo is from inside. Unaona? Nishikuwa naangalia huu. But of course I'm beautiful. Ah, I will see. See, ndo mana nikasema package. So now you see the package. Anyway. So, most, mostly to sijaribu kukonsider zitu. When you have to cook a video. <laughs> Utakata hiyo kazi. Mimi naenda bali. Okay, so ndio nilikuwa nasema muangalie hiyo part ya msi consider more of his inner side than outer side. Yeah. You a man can take a whole year to ku impress hapa nje. But inside him, hakuna chuchote. <laughs> Number one. He knows one, it's not going anywhere. Mm, so wait after a good fearing person, that should be. Number one point. Yenye siyeti kusieti na kuambia kusabu mtu mingina alisema hivu wapani. Just to know, kama we ni mtu wa club, tafta mtu wa, mtu wa club kama we. Kwa no, sababu. Tafta wana mtu wa church. We ni wa club, lakini ni tafta wana mtu wa church. So, kitu na jaribu kuambia, nieti we ukiwa mtu wa club alafu utafutwe na utafutwe na mtu wa church hivyo mm. vitu hivyo ni vitu viwili tofauti yeah, utarudi tu club lazima <laughs> either we urudi club mm. ama yeye umvute yeah. ama umvute yeye akuje club ama yeye akuvute ukuje huko that is true so <laughs> lazima utafute mtu mwenye mko mko under one line wewe mwenyewe ndio maana nakwambia unataka mtu aina gani kwa sababu uwezi kuwa uwezi kuwa mtu wa club alafu Useme unataka pasta my friend god atakupatia pasta jina lakini hata kupatia pasta from inside so you have to change yourself first kabla uende uchange uende utafute huyo ambaye unataka god sees you from inside and not from outside wow. we should not also fall under attempt, under attempt ya kusema watu wazuri wanapatikana makanisani my friend pia pale kanisani kuna kondo waliojivalia kuna Ngozi ya kuku. Sasa Kuna Ah, kuna 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 mbuzi ambaye amejivalia ngozi ya kondoo pale kanisani. Kuna umba mwitu, kuna umbwa mwitu ambaye amejivalia ngozi ya kondoo pale 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 kanisani. So usifola na hiyo attempt ya kusema eti kanisani kuna watu wazuri. Mm-mm. Make sure umeomba kama wewe ni wa kuomba. Wow. Thank you very much. So that's it ndazisoma randomly. Mm. Just know that person you're you're following okay. ama mko na yeye is kind. He or she doesn't afraid to say sorry. What can you say hapo kwa sorry? Mm, of course ni mwanako always ready to say sorry at kama sema nakosea yes that means this person has a long time long term relationship in that wakati mimi nimemkosea mume wangu alafu nimwambie pole ni kumaanisha nataka relationship yetu iendelee lakini wakati nitamkosea na huku bado naendelea kumrushia maneno maneno 
that means sitaki wa ugomvi uishe nataka tutengane kila mtu aende njia yake lakini wakati nitakuwa mrais ama atakuwa mrais kusema pole that means both both parties lazima mkoe watu wa kunyenyekea na kuambiana pole accept makosa yako unaona ikwe ikwe ni hivyo iraisishe kwamba sote tunataka hii hii, hii mambo iwak unaona loving what's what's on the inside hiyo nimewaambia you feel good or rather comfortable when around him hiyo nimewaambia support your dreams just like what my husband does he supports me in the <laughs> but he has to do that simply because he loves me and we have a common no, goal it's because i love you not that i have to do that no simply you, you have still to do it you. because you love me but i can go and sleep and i still then why are you not asleep because i love you <laughs> <laughs> so that's it he also wants to spend time with you if you are married he shares everything with you you should not he or she should not be afraid I'm of sharing sharing this jamanisha to share nguo i meant so ni itakuwa motivation speaker and what are points zangu i meant kama kama like mbona umenchanganya i meant to share as in kama kuna issues zinamsumbua atakuwa free kunielezea na mimi the same applies to him nisiogope kumwambia mambo yanamsumbua na yepia asiogope kuniambia mambo ambayo yanamsumbua yani tutakuwa free to each other but when you find yourself not free to your person kuwa na jicho la pili mali hapo you are friends of course you have to be a friend to your person yeah. mm-hmm. you both put effort into the relationship then you should also trust each other trust him with anything about you and do you know me miss kuna mambo yani not me but there are people wenye hakuna okay both of us kuna mambo ambayo tuweze elezea wazazi wetu lakini tunaweza elezeana sisi kama sisi na ikawaka out kuna mambo mimi siwezi elezea any person at our home lakini naweza muelezea yeye na namwamini hiyo information nikimpatia tutatanisaidia same applies to him on my side Mm-hmm. So let it be that way. So na pia mtrust yani that's all for today. Wow wow wow. Thank you guys. Ngi sikuna swali hapo mm-hmm. chini na kuna mtu alikuwa ameniuliza story ya long long distance relationship mtamjibu kwa video ya kesho. Wow. So kesho tunaangalia long distance. Yes. We had money, we had sexuality. Yeah. Mm. So I don't know we'll do those tomorrow. But as for today that's the end of our video. Mm. Uh thank you very much for everyone who has kept his ears from day one and I'm skiza my madam. We still have some more videos and some more. We've said five videos for the five days that we are remaining for us to celebrate wish on your poster in Akaya anniversary. But to post on Sunday. Uh huh what else? We have our t-shirts here by the way mtu anataka. Hata kama uko voi, uko wapi you can. Hata kama uko Nairobi, you can have any of your color choice. I love this is our logo. I know you know the logo inakuwa hapa kwa video sana. Dishon Music 365 Days of Blessings. That is it guys. Eh, you may know the 365 Days of Blessings James 3:17 to 18. And you saw me that's our favorite verse. We have so many videos by the way guys sasa sasa nimeanza ku revamp tumeanza kurudisha moral wa videos we we'll lose so many tutawa update on our anniversary day thank you guys we love you we love you so much I love you. i love you thank you tunapenda pia mm, sana so msisahau ku comment na pia kuuliza maswali nitajibu kwa ukiuliza swali under this video najibu kwa next video mm-hmm. also unataka niongelee nini pia we are also ready to be corrected in case to mungia kitu and you feel it's not correct eh ama you yeah. was done the, the same way you see to mungia mm. yeah, you can tell us you can also motivate people from there mm from well, soon the, we'll be hosting by the it yes. to host speakers wazuri wazuri wakubwa wakubwa mm. don't take us like that <laughs> we'll be hosting here Julius Maya and you will be surprised 
Yeah, thank so you. thank you so much for your time. Na upenda sana. Na napenda response zenu wale ambao mna love na wa love back. Wale ambao mna to love na wa love back. Mm. Wale ambao mna to manada salamu huwa zinanifikishia. No, I'm not so much into media as in na kuaga so busy kwa ku reply messages but I thank God is always there for me. Na God God me. Amen. Alinipatia wewe alijua tu. So I'm so happy and so humbled to have you. Thank you. God bless. Mkwena wakati mwema. 